Hello, in this video we're going to graph this function y equals 2 cos x plus 60 degrees minus 2. So the first step is we look at the function, we pull out the important information for graphing trig functions. And the first piece of information is the amplitude. And I see the amplitude, I read that off by looking at the a value. And so the amplitude of this function is 2. The next piece of information is the sinusoidal axes. And the sinusoidal axis can be pulled out by our vertical shift. So the sinusoidal axis is at y equals negative 2. Always write that as an equation. We see that this has a horizontal shift of 60 degrees. And so now, that I'm, now when I set up my, my axes, I want to keep in mind that I can easily shift 60 degrees on it. It makes it a lot easier, and it makes your final graph look a lot nicer. So a scale here that would be nice is a scale of 30 degrees. So let's count out every 3 is 30. 1, 2, 3, that's 30. 1, 2, 3, that's 60. 1, 2, 3, that's 90. And I'm going to mark that at 90 degrees. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's 180 degrees. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. That's 270 degrees. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 and that is 360 degrees. Now we're going to do that in the other direction. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. That's negative 90. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. That's negative 180. 1, 2, 3. So now let's do our y-axis scale. So let's do every 3 as 1 unit. I did every two as one unit, so why don't we go with that? That's what we've done here. There we go. So, the first step is to graph the parent function. And the parent function in this case is y equals cos x. When I do this, I, to help remind myself the periodic, which means repetitive nature of this, I draw this little cross here, and I remember that cos of 0 is 1, cos of 90 is 0, cos of 270 is negative 1, and cos of 360 is 0. Sorry, cos of, let me say that again, pardon me, let's try that again. Now I remind myself that cos of 0 is 1, cos of 90 is 0, cos of 180 is negative 1, cos of 270 is 0, cos of 360 is 1. And I continue that that kind of periodic behavior. 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And I can come right down to my diagram here, my graph. 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. And I can go in the opposite direction as well. So what I see here is I can very easily draw in that parent function just like that. And I can easily extend it by following this periodic form. There we go. So there's our parent function, y equals cos x. So now I'm going to graph this function, everything except for the, the horizontal shift. So I know that the sinusoidal axis is at y equals negative 2. So I'm going to come down there and dot that in. Dot, 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 dot right across like this. And, and what I do now is I pretty much imagine that this sinusoidal axis is kind of like the x-axis. And so I'm going to do the same pattern I did for my parent graph, number 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. But we have the value of 2, 2, so I'm going to count up two units, 1, 2. So there's 1, 0, 1, 2. And we're going to do that in the opposite direction. 1, 2. And there is my function with everything except for that horizontal shift. Now remember, like I said at the start, is we pick a scale that we can easily count out that horizontal shift. And this is y. So the horizontal shift is 60 degrees to the left. So I'm going to take 
each point, and I'm going to count over two ticks, because one tick is 30 degrees, so 30, 60, so that point goes from here to here, 30, 60, 30, and that goes right off the page, 30, 60, 30, 60, 30, 60, 30, 60. And now, I just connect the dots. And there's my resulting function. I'm going to extend that down. And there you go. So that gray one is y equals 2 cos x plus 60 degrees minus 2. So this is a nice little way to graph your your trigonometric functions um, using some transformation ideas, but using a couple little tricks along the way to make this an easier process. I hope that helped.